Welcome back. Today we're going to go over every time a tree saved the day. Starting off in Sweden, this Antonov 2 with four passengers on this biplane at liftoff, the aircraft rolled to the right and the pilot felt that the aircraft did not climb as expected. The pilot pulled hard on the yoke and tried to climb over the trees at the end of the field. However, he failed to maneuver the aircraft away from the trees and as a result collided with them, but no injuries. We're back in Colombia again with uh, this DC-3. Similar to the one that crashed five days ago in Colombia. This one is April 13th, 2022. You can see stalled there and goes into the trees. This is a picture up close of kind of what happened. Thank you, Jose, for these pictures. And then this is the aircraft. There was the Policia Nacional of Colombia. And you can see the conversion turboprop, uh, Basler BT-67 with the Pratt & Whitney PT-6A-65 uh, engines. And now those propellers are destroyed. Yes, we have a wild one. This aircraft going into the trees. We're in Swans Island, Maine. It's a Cessna 150 built in 1961. And it just took off and a lot of trees in the area. Luckily, it didn't hit those wires. Here's the Cessna 150, similar to this one, November 7340 X-ray. And it happened at this Banks Airport. A lot of trees, not much going on around this airport. But those trees definitely saved the sole pilot. Uh, minor injuries. June 30th, 2012, we're at Bruce Meadows Airport in Stanley, Idaho. And there's four people on board this aircraft, and they're going to go towards the trees. So there's a high altitude, uh, warm day, and they're near maximum weight. Their gross weight for this plane maximum is 2,400 pounds. They're at 2,314. There's a tailwind, 10 knots, gusting at 20 knots. It's 2.15 p.m., the altitude of this airport is 6,370 feet. Temperature was 84 degrees. Density altitude 9,200 feet. Um, that was from the pilot prior to the flight. So it looks real heavy. And the pilot basically um, said that they couldn't get any altitude after takeoff. Again here, everyone survived. And I don't know if the trees helped on this one, but they made it. We're in Delaware. This aircraft is upside down. It hit the trees. And you can see part of it here, but the pilot was really not injured. Um, you can see there's a lot of canopy here. It's like flying into a pillow versus yesterday's uh, video where, you know, the trees were very different. Not much branches, but just a lot of solid uh bases here so we've been seeing aircraft hit trees a lot and the ones that we have gone over the people survived when they flew into these a lot of leaves a lot of branches and the trunks are, are very are very small um so this was the aircraft here a balanca scout november 749 sierra kilo we're in roxana delaware and here uh millville volunteer fire uh, department came out and got the patient some help but all in all it ended well september 25th we have two pilots in their 70s in washington they not only force landed into trees correctly here to survive they walked down on their own they had their wits about them to take their radio and they had to go through this rough terrain they had to walk at night to get out of there they left from this concrete municipal airport and watch out for the whiplash here as we head to this day lake area is kind of where they were found they were flying a cessna 172 l november 7471 golf was the tail number 
they're saved by this Snohomish County Rescue, Search and Rescue, as you can see here. So they got the call that there was a missing aircraft near Lake Kavanaugh that didn't get to its destination. So they went out with their sheriff helicopter here and went on the rescue. At about 7.30 in the morning on Monday, they found the aircraft. And then at 8 o'clock, the two men in their 70s heard the chopper. They did their mayday using their portable radio and were able to be found and airlifted out, as you can see here. So this is the first one. They're going to go ahead and connect them in and then take slack off the main line and pull them into the chopper here. Here they are pulling up the second person. Thank you, King 5 News, for this footage from the Snohomish County Rescue. And again, no injuries to these guys. So 2022, we have a lot to get to. This pilot is trapped in his aircraft after hitting this tree. This is in Moni, Illinois. So let's try to see. It was this aircraft here, Glacier 2 FT, November 350. Charlie Papo is the tail number. This is kind of the flight path here from FlightAware. Trying to land at this built uh, field, but didn't quite make it. I don't know if anybody's familiar with this, this airport here. But this is the scene from the top. So you can see, didn't quite make it to this water. Hit this tree, kind of split. You can see fire medics on scene. They want to go ahead and secure this aircraft. So you can see there, they don't want this aircraft moving around while they're working. The patient's there. They're going to check for any um, bleeding. First thing, you want to see any mass hemorrhaging that... Um, you want to secure that once you got the bleeding controlled you're going to move on to airway is the person's airway open do you have to open it yourself to check if they can breathe if they're breathing do they need oxygen anything like that you want to check circulation check the pulses um, how's the heart rate do they have a heart rate are they, are they breathing anything any life threats is what you're checking first you can see he has fire extinguishers here for any uh, type of small fires that may happen and then they have the backboard here. They're going to try to get, looks like his legs are pinned. So they're going to try to get the, his legs unpinned and try to slide them out. This took an hour, this operation, to get this pilot out. Um, but they do have, um, I see, uh, IV access. So they can give him fluids or medications. And uh, basically, yeah, a lot going on. Took them an hour. Texas, July 28th, 2022. This single pilot was extricated from this aircraft after a loss of engine power. So you can see it's in these trees, but good thing this NBC-5 chopper was up above and let the firefighters know where to go. They had an eye on this uh, aircraft, so there's no fire involved when they get on scene, so that's good. They just have to make sure how many pilots they're dealing with. It was this aircraft. It was a Piper PA-32RT built in 1978. Uh, November 3027 Juliet was the tail number and here it is in the trees here and I want to know do you think the trees saved the pilot's life by dissipating the energy as it went in or do you think you should that the trees make it worse because if you hit a trunk then you're not having a good day either so you can let me know in the comments trees or no trees when you're in an emergency situation maybe the pilot did not have a choice this is Dallas Executive Airport as they were trying to land loss of engine power and as you can see not much options just more and more trees studying this Cessna 172 in Connecticut and other videos can really help pilots I think just on what to do when engine failure happens as always please subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching this is our friend Keone I'll see you guys next time